Hello, my beautiful pumpkins, and welcome to your career pick a card. This is kind of a follow up, I suppose, to our last career pick a card, which links down below and in the card section for you if you would like to look at that one in the future. But uh, I wouldn't even say that this is a follow up. I just was looking through my own videos and I realized that I hadn't done a career pick a card in a really long time time. And I just felt like it was time, you know, for those of you that are asking about career, what spirit has for us on your career, where it's going, what's coming next, um, you know, maybe some ideas about career if you're confused. You know, that's really what I like to do here is to channel in the archangels, your guides, my guides, sometimes ancestors will come through and give us messages about your career and what is to come in that. So um, today we are going to be doing a singular intention candle. We're not going to do three individuals. So I will put a time card in for that. Uh, so you can jump to that if you want to. We're also going to be using a bit of incense today. Uh, this incense specifically is made with the intention that it will draw more abundance and money into your life. Now, I understand that not everybody goes into their career wanting more money for some people. And I would say a lot of people probably that is part of it. But, uh, you know, those of you that are wanting more abundance from your career, that's really to kind of bring that energy in for you. So we're actually going to start by lighting that together with our enchanted lighter and just kind of getting that to get started for us and hope that the smoke doesn't get too in our way uh, as it burns down. I'm just going to pick this up and make sure that I blow it out before it gets messy. These incense, because they're handmade uh, locally, I find that they burn pretty well, but they often will also take a lot of time to get started. So... Uh, hopefully that will burn smoothly for us. And uh, let's go ahead and for those of you that don't want to do the intention candle, this is pile number one, this is pile number two, this is pile number three. Just really trust your intuition on this one. I will also timestamp a meditation where you can sit with the three card piles for about a minute and decide which pile you want to choose. Just really use your intuition on this one and uh, know that you're never going to choose wrong. It might be the whole pile. It might be a couple of cards. It might be multiple piles that you feel drawn to. Just really take a moment to focus and relax when that meditation comes and just, you know, pay attention to what you were drawn to. Maybe even from the thumbnail, you were drawn to one of these right away. So totally your call there. But we are going to go ahead and get into this intention candle up here. So for the intention candle, I chose a white candle because white is universal for all of the colors. So if there is anything you want to call into your life, it can be about your career. It can be not about your career. It can literally be anything, a person, place, thing. But what I want you to do is place your hands, your left and right hands over your heart center, because what that does is it allows us to pull our intention in through our heart center, which love is the highest vibrational frequency that we as humans can attune ourselves to. So it really just helps us to get into alignment with our intentions and our manifestations. So we're going to go ahead and place your left and right hands over your heart. Really think about that intention that you want to call in. And uh, I do want to say before we get into our deep breaths here that I apologize that the lighting is interesting today. I'm using a ring light from a side angle to try not to make the cards reflective because there's a storm passing through my area and uh, I the lighting is just so dim even though it's the middle of the day. So I had to bring in some unnatural light today unfortunately, but you know we're going to make do with what we got. So go ahead now that you have that intention. Let's go ahead. We're going to take three deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, just focusing on what it would feel like in first person to have this intention manifest for you. So let's go ahead and do that now.
All right. And if you want to take a few more deep breaths on that, go ahead and pause and do so. But we're going to go ahead and light this candle and see what happens. I do feel like the wick stayed pretty straightforward, which is good. That to me is when you have something going very straight up and not really curling into itself too much, that usually is a strong indication that the energy is in alignment with you and it will be coming. So I love that. We'll keep an eye on this candle throughout the readings today. I hope the smoke isn't too distracting. And uh, in fact, maybe we'll kind of offset that a little so we can see it better. I hope the smoke isn't too distracting and really just gives us a nice ethereal vibe. But I'm going to go ahead and be quiet, give you some time to meditate with one, two, and three, and then we'll get into it. Now, I do want to say for those of you that stayed to meditate with the cards, I do see that the smoke from our incense is dividing, like it's dividing into two. So for some of you, if you really were paying attention to that, that could mean that there are two piles here for you. Uh, so just... Just something to note, if you were really focused on the smoke, that might mean that if you felt pulled to two, definitely listen to both. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the first. All right, pile number one. I'm so excited to get into this. We have a couple new decks today. So thank you to those of you that have donated to the channel. I always appreciate it. We were able to pick up two new decks for this reading, and I'm so excited to share them with you. They'll always be linked down below as well. If you see something that you want for yourself, I always link them in the order that they appear. But let's go ahead and get into it. So first, First and foremost, we're going to take these top three cards and talk about them. So for your career, we have the five of hearts. We have the queen of spades and we have the five of diamonds, also the hierophant. This kind of stands in as both of those. So what I'm feeling like for your career, maybe right now, you're feeling very disappointed with the career that you have or something about it is disappointing. There might even be a boss figure that is kind of always hovering over you, looming over you, not allowing you to do your work in the way that you want to. Or you could be someone that you are afraid to come out of your own shell in your work because you're afraid to be labeled as bossy uh, or someone that just like isn't well respected. You're maybe afraid to kind of go against the traditional norm. With the Hierophants and the Five of Pentacles, this is really about traditions and uh, with a Five of Pentacles, this can also be a disappointment in finances. So I'm really getting <clears throat> from this that you might be somebody that really wants to do more. Maybe you got into a certain career path or you're considering a career path now that spirit wants you to know might not be in your best interest. Now, please use your own discernment with this. Know that if you feel really passionately about something that really lights you up, there's a pretty good chance that it's what you're supposed to do. Always listen to your own intuition there. But if you're questioning it, if there's doubt, if there's dis-ease that you're feeling, pay attention to those things because this could even be spirit trying to warn you of a career path that you're trying to get into that really isn't good for you, that is going to stunt you as a person. You won't make the amount of money that you're hoping that you will. And ultimately, you're going to be disappointed. Now, if this is you currently, you're feeling very disappointed in your career, um, we will hopefully be able to get into a little bit more on this with more cards as we draw into them. 
Um, spirit is really saying that the more you start to say what you need to say, I feel that the more these disappointments will pass. So on this five of hearts, we have, you've pierced my soul. I'm half agony, half hope. So that might be a quote that really speaks to some of you. This deck is a Jane Austen deck. So all of the imagery is very Jane Austen appropriate. And I think it's so beautiful. I was so excited to show it to you all today, but, um, I'm really feeling like many of you have just been let down or you are going to potentially be let down. And if that's where you are now with a queen of a queen of spades, I might have said queen of hearts. I meant to say queen of spades with a queen of spades. This is a powerful card. This is very like if I could give the queen of spades, it corresponds kind of to like the queen of swords in traditional Rider Waite Smith Coleman tarot. And with a queen of spades, this is someone that says what they need to say, rules with discernment. Some people will say that she's too cutting, she's bitchy, you know, what have you. But ultimately, you know your heart and you know that you need to speak your truth. The reason these disappointments are coming is because your career isn't facilitating that. That. It's not facilitating you saying what you need to say and being who you are authentically at your core. So let's go ahead and grab a few more cards and see what else we have. So we have addicts helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. And it also compromises integrity, honesty, allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. So when we have an addict card coming out, with a job, this could actually be addictive behavior. Like, for instance, this could be kind of dark for some of you. This is going to be like, maybe you're a bartender and this is facilitating you drinking more than you should. Or this could also be just indulging in office gossip. You know, a gossip can be extremely addictive and really, really hurtful towards yourself and other people in your work field. So this could be something that is very serious, like a substance abuse type thing, or it is perpetuating addictive behavior or addictive emotional behavior. When we now, this is where we get into kind of the psychology of it all. But when we continue to cycle in patterns, now this is not every single time, but especially if it's a pattern that we have made really early on, maybe in our family systems, gossip was something that really held us together. You know, we participated in family gossip and that was how we linked to one another by being dishonest behind each other's backs. Now, this might not be your family. This is just an example. But what happens is we continue to think that that's how we gain acceptance from others in adulthood. And so we'll gossip with other people because it we think that that's what we have to do to be accepted by everyone around us. You know, oh, that's, that's my safety. That's, you know, I won't be abandoned if I'm part of this. But this queen of spades coming out is saying no, this kind of behavior can actually be really detrimental to you. And it's, it's up to you to not participate in that to go off on your own to be your own person and not play a part in that really addictive behavior. Now we also have for you, and this is why I'm saying this, we also have for you the advocates inspires you to put compassion into action, embracing negative. So that's the light aspect. The shadow aspect of this is embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. So I feel like with the advocates, this is also about you advocating for people around you and advocating for yourself. I'm really feeling that many of you that pick this pile do not feel advocated for. Maybe you have a boss. Ooh, that candle. Do you see that? Spirit is like, yes, this is you, honey. Um, but maybe you don't feel advocated for in your line of work. You don't feel like your boss advocates for you. They don't care about you where you are. Um, you know, it's... It, it, and maybe you feel like you're not allowed to advocate for yourself in that regard. You're not allowed to speak your truth, to say what you need or to get what you need. So 
you know, this is also a call to action for you to start doing that, even if you're afraid, because even at the end of the day, if your line of work doesn't like you advocating for yourself, they keep people small for a reason so that you won't fight back. But ultimately, look at this person here even pushing back, you know, pushing back on these things and being that true advocate for yourself and others. Ultimately, it allows you to keep your own personal integrity. And it allows you to be true to yourself, which to me is really what this whole reading is about. Now, we also have for you the energy is gaining momentum. And we have for you a time for healing. So this to me really says that with the energy gaining momentum, uh, you know, this is something that is going to eventually erupt. If something isn't done about this, especially as we're in such an Aquarian time right now, we have a Saturn in Aquarius, we have Jupiter moving into Aquarius. Um, you know, it's a very Aquarian time for us right now. And even earlier this year, I'd have to look at the specific transits as an astrologer, I'm a little bit out of practice with the current transits. But we had so many planets just chilling in Aquarius earlier this year. And Aquarius is the authentic it's the authentic sign. That's what it's about is being your authentic self. And so I feel like this is really spirit pushing you to do that in your line of work, to be more authentic to yourself, to find a career that is in alignment with you, that honors you, you know, pushing back against addictive behavior, pushing back against things that maybe have been a problem for you your whole life and allows you to have that self-advocacy and a time for healing, especially those of you that are in jobs that you are not happy with, Spirit is saying that that time for healing is coming, whether it is in a new job, whether things at your job are going to change, something on the horizon is changing for you. And then we also have for you grieving and travel. I'm going to be real with y'all, pile number one. Some of you, I really do see you losing your job. Um... Not everyone, obviously, please use your discernment. You know, if you're on quote unquote thin ice at your job, but some of you, I really do see having to grieve for a job or some of you also may be traveling for grief. You might be traveling because someone has been lost. You know, obviously I'm not here to predict death for you personally. That's just not something that I do, especially when it comes to pick a cards online. There's just too much energy circulating that if I predicted death for one person, it might just be them. And I'm not here to invoke fear in others about this. So but some of you could be traveling to grieve, you know, taking a bereavement from work so that you are able to grieve. And this might actually be a really awakening moment for you, especially with tradition coming out with the Hierophant. This often deals with family values, family traditions. You might be traveling to see family to grieve about something. And this is honestly going to turn a light bulb on inside of you about your career. Maybe you're going to have this aha moment of, oh my gosh, this career is not what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's going to be very very, very apparent to you. Because it, I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like I say this all the time that you're drawn to certain readers because they've had similar experiences, or they know how to help your specific situation because they've experienced something similar. And for myself, um, I've experienced this my entire career uh, four years ago, almost now, I changed my entire career path after uh, a very serious death in my own family. And it was like my dark night of the soul got kicked off right in that moment. And I had to ask myself, you know, am I happy with the direction my life is in? Am I happy with the career choices I've made? Do they honor the person that I am now? And they didn't. So I had to make changes and sacrifices. And I feel like that could be something for some of you, you know, you're going to be going through a very big transformation of self, especially with this butterfly here. But you're going to be surrounded by loving, supportive people, maybe even guides. Um, with this light showing up here, often lights are depicted as our guides. And 
I don't know how well you can see this in this imagery, but there is a little tree of life here, which to me does really say family. I think that's why I keep getting this like family message coming through of you might be grieving about family. And that doesn't even mean that somebody in your family is going to pass away. Sometimes we have to cut ties with family because they are so toxic and we need time away to heal. This could also be a family business for some of you. You were expected to take over the family business. And this is a huge call to action for you that maybe that line of work is not for you. And I'm going to pick three cards from this deck now to see just what is coming in the future for your career, because I feel like this is very like, yes, some of it is very future oriented, but I do feel like a lot of it is kind of talking about your current situation. So spirits, can you please give us three cards that are going to tell us what is coming in the future for pile number ones? Oh, girl. Okay. There's two. We're going to get one more out of this. Those ones fell out. Um, I'll show them to you in just a moment after we get. Oh, okay. There's one more. All right. So we have for you the tower came out on top. So I do feel like in the future, this is why I said some of you might actually be getting new careers or leaving a job, getting a new job. We have the fool. And we also have the, the nine of pentacles. Okay, so this is actually fantastic. When I saw the tower, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little concerned for some of y'all. But the tower in this situation just means that whatever you have built up in your mind about your current career or a career you're going into, it's not correct for you. It's not right for you. And you are going to be falling away from that. And it might be a painful process. It might be maybe you were in what you thought was your dream career and now it's gone. You know, this could be a painful process and this could be what the grieving is about. However, with the fool being present here, this to me says that you are about to embark on a grand epic adventure. You are going to get so in tune with yourself. You're going to be the one calling the shots in your career, especially if you have felt miserable in the past about your career or you currently feel miserable. The fool comes as a blessing to really highlight to you that this is going to be a time where you're feeling a lot less tied down, more carefree, more excited about your career, about your future. And then the best part, to me, the nine of pentacles, this is all about having the abundance to reap the rewards to go like this is like the great harvest of your finances. This is you have so much abundance that you are able to relax, you are able to give time to yourself like you've never been able to before. So I see this personally as a really positive omen that even if you're, especially if you're really unhappy with where you are right now, you're going to be coming into a time where, especially if you've stayed in a job for the money, you're going to be coming into a time where that won't even matter anymore. You're going to be so divinely guided, protected and provided for that you're going to be able to do anything you want to with your time and energy that facilitates you feeling good. So I love this for you, pile number one. I hope this was helpful. I hope you feel excited about the career changes that are coming, though some might be a little abrupt. I won't lie to you about it. I think ultimately it's going to be a good thing. So um, that is what I got for you. Please do not forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at Chloe Taylor. Claim your blessing here. Don't forget to check out the cards down below. They are, will be listed in the order that they appeared in the reading today. And if you feel called to do so, please Please do consider leaving a tip for my readings. It's never expected, but always appreciated. I have my cash at Venmo PayPal listed down below for you. And I love you so much. I will talk to you again soon, my beautiful pumpkins. Please do not forget when you stand up in your own authenticity, you empower everyone around you to do the same. Bye. All right, pile number two, this is going to be your reading about your career, what is coming next. Let's go ahead and take a look into it. So I do want to say right in the beginning here, a special thank you to my lovely, lovely viewers that have donated to the channel. We actually have a couple new decks to show off today uh, because of all of you. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I feel like I don't often express gratitude until the end of my readings when we're able to do that. And uh, I really wanted to make sure that you heard it today. So um, first and foremost, we're going to take these top three cards here and I'm going to show them to you. We have the seven of diamonds. We have the jack of spades. 
and we have the nine of hearts. So I feel that for many of you, hmm, I need to like feel into this energy for a moment. I love that we have um, kind of a good mix going on. So I feel like some of you are really reconsidering a new path right now. And I say that because the seven of diamonds is really about to some degree shooting your shot because we do have this like archer depicted here. But the seven of diamonds is also about kind of reaping what you sow and asking yourself, is this really what I want? Is this career honoring me? Is what I'm going after honoring who I am and what I want to become in this lifetime? The nine of hearts is here to really say that like a wish is about to be granted for you career wise. And the jack of spades, I feel like this to me is really about speaking what you desire into existence, but also having the right communications between you and others to kind of leverage yourself. So if you're somebody that is like wanting a promotion, it's really important for you right now, pile number two, to make sure that you make that known in the workplace, because this Jack of Spades, it is giving me like cautionary vibes, but I feel like ultimately this has a lot to do with ambition and you shouldn't be modest with your ambition. This is to me. Yeah, that's like the message spirit is saying is like, don't be modest with your ambition right now. If you feel ambitious about something like there's a position you really desire, there's somewhere you want to move in your career, like you want to move states or something, or I mean, if you're in the US or countries or whatever, you know, let somebody know about that. Communicate what you desire in your career very clearly to your boss, to your assistant, to anybody who is listening to your family, you know, because spirit really can't bless you with what you're asking for unless it knows what you want. Uh, so make sure that you're saying these things, you know, don't keep them all to yourself. I feel like maybe you're somebody that has been very cautious about sharing your dreams with others because you're afraid that they're not going to come true. But with the nine of hearts, this literally is like the nine of cups in Rider Waite Smith Coleman tarot. This is a wish being granted. So if you're considering your path right now, weighing your options in your career, this is a huge indicator of put it out there what you're desiring because you're going to get it. Now, we also have for you the mediator. Now you're the pile that actually got three of these cards because one of them flew out and I was like, all right, we're getting three. But um. I'm going to read them and I'll lay them down after that. So we have gifts for negotiating fairness, strategy and personal and professional life, respect for both sides of an argument. So this to me, we'll talk about it. The mediator, we have child nature, friendships with animals, communication with nature spirits. And we also have for you athletes, dedication to transcending physical limits including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. So I feel like spirit is really communicating to me right now that you need to be your own best mediator. I feel like that's really why mediator is coming out. You need to be your best mediator. If there are two people in the workplace that want different things for you, you need to be the person that brings what you desire out. Even if you're a little bit afraid, even if your voice shakes, you know, say what you need to say, even if you're a little bit scared. With child nature, spirit is saying if you need healing, if you're feeling like your energy is really unsettled right now in the workplace, you need to go connect with Gaia, you need to get your feet on some dirts, you know, plant some flowers, do something. I mean, obviously, I understand the weather is different in different places of the world. So there might be a limit to what you can do, maybe get an indoor plant one that's pet friendly if you have pets. But you know, really get your get your hands and feet into some dirt. Mother Nature says, let me heal you, child, come to me. And with athletes, I actually feel like for some of you, you really could be like in an athletic field and you're wanting to go somewhere really far with this. But for some of you, you're being asked to go to the quote unquote spiritual gym. This is something that I talk about a lot. And basically, especially if you are really into law of attraction, manifestation, bringing about your desires into this lifetime, 
It's really important for you, pile number two, to exercise that muscle, commit to 30 days of something. And I'm not talking about physical activity, unless that really gets your vibration high, then yes, do something physical. But some of you might just need to write a thank you letter to the universe and express, you know, thank you for this job opportunity in this location. Thank you for this salary. Thank you for making this possible and easy for me. Even if it hasn't happened yet, expressing the gratitude for it now in written form and reading that to yourself every night before bed. You know, I know it sounds like it's a lot, but I promise doing these things and do I'm going to make a video on manifestation, hopefully before the month is out with some different options for all y'all. But, you know, when you make that commitment, not only are you committing to yourself and and elevating your vibration, you're committing to the universe. You're saying, hey, universe, this is the thing I really want. This is the thing that I want to keep reiterating it because I desire it. It's important to me. I'm highlighting it. And on top of that, you know, if writing isn't your thing, maybe you're somebody who needs to dance to raise your vibration. Maybe you're a visualization person that needs to meditate. There are so many ways to do this. Just pick something and commit to it when it comes to your career. Now, we also have for you, your loved ones are safe with the new moon and cancer card. I love this card. And we have bring love into the situation, new moon and Aquarius. So with you and your loved ones are safe, I feel like some of you are afraid to put your job in quote unquote jeopardy because your family relies on your income. And spirit is saying your family is going to be safe, your money, your finances, you're going to be taken care of. So put yourself first for once. Woo, I just got the chills. <laughs> and then we have bring love into the situation. This is about bringing love for yourself into the situation, having self-respect to go to bat for yourself, to say what you need to say about your career to others, again, to mediate for yourself and to put it out there and to have that full embodiment of self-expression that's going to help you get to where you want to go next. We also have for you courage. Oh my gosh, this is like so in line. I'm going to put this one up here so we can see it a little better. We have courage and we also have life purpose. Oh my, my Lanta. Okay. Some of you might actually be Leo placements. So that's really cool if you are and that came out. Not all of you, obviously, but um, spirit is saying you need to have the courage to speak up and that whatever you're getting into right now, whatever you're wanting, whatever you're desiring, it is a huge part of your life purpose. You might need to meet somebody that is going to put you in line with it. That's why you need to speak up. There might be a place you need to relocate for work that is going to make it a huge part of your life purpose. Something about your line of work is very connected to what you came to this earth to do. This, ooh, I have full body chills. This is so good. Oh, I'm so excited for you, pile number two. So, this is something like, don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on this because it's very vital to you getting what you want out of life. You came here to have this experience. So don't settle. Spirit is saying, do not settle for any reason. Now we're going to go ahead and get three more cards for you in this reading from this deck right here, just to kind of see what we have coming up in the future for your career. Uh, we're just going to shuffle through these ones, see if any jump out. Oh, okay. Here's one. There's one. <laughs> oh, here's two. This one kind of fell in. Actually, here's three. I feel like when they kind of get, they get, uh, the cards get very stubborn sometimes and like don't want to move in back into the deck. That's how you know that they're for you. So we also have for you the King of Cups. We have for you the Page of Swords. And we have for you strength. Oh my God, that Leo energy coming out again. The courage and the strength card. We both have these lions being depicted. You are a lion. I bet you're somebody with fabulous hair. Um, so with the King of Cups for your career coming out, this to me says, this is like alignment to me. This is alignment of your emotional self meeting your ability to delegate tasks, to be a leader in your own right of something that is very bound 
to your soul, to your spirit. This is something that is going to like your pursuit in your career is meant to serve a higher purpose. It is not meant to just serve you and your family. Whatever you are doing, pile number two, it is something that is meant to serve your community, the collective at large. You're doing something that is bigger than you. And I say that because the King of Cups is a very compassionate leader, and we need more of that in the world at this time. And we also have a page of swords, which says, go after it. Again, this is about self-advocacy. This is going after what you want, pursuing it and being vocal about it. And with strength here, we're just kind of parroting off of courage. Have the courage to say what you need to say, to do what you need to do, and don't be scared. Spirit, the universe literally has your back. Your guides are encouraging you to go after this thing, to ask about it. And if you're unsure, if you're like, Chloe, I don't know what you're even talking about right now. Like, I don't, I'm not, I don't have any ideas about what I want to do. Just start talking. Start asking yourself if you woke up every day and you could do something that made you really happy and light up from the inside, what would it be? You know, is it reading? Is it painting? Is it writing? Is it, is it helping others? Is it reading tarot cards? Is it making candles? Is it creating something with your hands? Whatever that thing is, spirit is saying you need to start talking about it more because it's going to get you in line with the right person that is going to bring about what you, what you need to be doing, whether it's a promotion or going off on your own, it doesn't matter. You just have to have the courage and the strength to pursue and to put it out there. And that's really it. So that is what I have for you, pile number two. I hope this reading helps you. All of the cards are listed down below in the order that they appear today. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at Chloe Taylor. Links below my podcast, Authentic and Unapologetic, which season two will be out this week. Very excited. And, uh... Thank you again to those of you that have donated to the channel. We have this new deck and the Jane Austen deck is new. I'm very excited to keep reading with it. And uh, if you would like to tip the channel, it is always appreciated. Never expected. My cash at Venmo PayPal is listed down below for your convenience. And please, my beautiful pumpkins, do not forget when you stand up in your own authenticity, you empower everyone around you to do the same. I love you so much and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. <laughs> All right, pile number three, this is going to be your career reading what is coming next, possibly what's going on right now, some ideas for careers, potentially if they come through. Pile number one and two didn't really have too many ideas for careers, but we'll take a look, see here. So let's go ahead and see what spirit has in store for you. So we're going to take these top three cards and see what we get here. So we have the 10 of clubs for you. We have the six of diamonds and the four of spades. So spirits right off the bat is saying that you need to rest. <laughs> Your career has been running you into the ground. You are carrying the weight of the world. You are picking up way too much responsibility. And it's actually high time that you take a break, take a day off, maybe a week off, you know, if you need to take a staycation, do that. Spirit is also saying that there might be some things from your past that are really affecting what you're able to do right now in the workplace. Maybe something in your career has happened before and you're afraid it's going to happen again. Maybe there is a slight in the past that happened in your career, or maybe you just need to sit back and connect with family a little bit more instead of focusing so hard on your career because the four of space here represents our need to rest, right? We need to recover. We need to give ourselves time to rest. The 10 of clubs here is here to tell us that, you know, we're carrying the weight of the world. Look at this stack of books. It's as if you're carrying that weight on your back right now. In fact, all of you in pile number three, I want you to stretch your arms all the way up from where you are as far as they can go, really elongating your spine. I'm feeling like many of you are sitting like hunched over if you're not laying in bed. Um, you're sitting very hunched over and spirit wants you to really elongate your spine because that meridian of where your energy centers are runs along that spine. So if you're you know, really sitting hunched over, it can kind of block your energy from being able to 
circulate your body appropriately. So just reach up as big as you can, maybe even spread your arms out in T-pose, T-pose for dominance, you know how it is, uh, and then bring them back down and maybe roll the shoulders back a little bit. Spirit is just really telling me that you are carrying a lot in your back right now. I don't know why that's coming through so strong. Maybe some of you have had some back pain, but uh, you're carrying a lot in your back and just, you know, really roll those shoulders a little, loosen yourself up a little. And the six of diamonds really talks a lot about, um, well, technically the six of diamonds here, it, it can be a family to some degree, but it can also be a lot about um, an equal exchange of something. So having an equal partnership, feeling like an equal in the workplace, and maybe you haven't felt that way. And that's why you need to relax a little bit, you know, delegate some tasks, let some other people pick up the slack where you have been doing all the work. So we also have for you the angel card, which says helping those in need with no exception of return. But we also have a shadow aspect on this card that says acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. So I feel like ultimately, with the angel card, I didn't feel anything with that shadow attribute. I don't think any of you are doing that. I feel like if anything, helping others with no sense of return. I feel like some of you are feeling very bitter. Like you have been doing all of the work. Nobody else is picking up the slack, but nobody has asked you to do those things. You have been taught from really early on in life, potentially that you're the only person that can take care of things, that everything is your responsibility. And unfortunately it has led you maybe to even be really bitter in the workplace because you're the only one doing anything and nobody else is picking up that slack because because you're always used to having to do it all. So spirit is saying, you know, take a load off, give some of those books to someone else. And we also have Don Juan spotlights your positive, seductive qualities. So this could be that maybe some of you, there's an office romance coming up or something in your ro in your romance, something in your career, there might be somebody that's, um, it doesn't even have to be romantic. Don Juan can be romantic, but maybe there is somebody in your career that this career is meant to facilitate that. You're meant to meet somebody at work and that is like your angels want you to know if there's somebody you fancy at work, they might actually be returning that because also with this six of diamonds, we have this gentleman courting this woman because these cards are Jane Austen cards. So it's very different time period than now. But, um, you know, we have this gentleman courting this woman. And I feel like ultimately, this could be you or it could be somebody else in the workplace that's um, like somebody maybe you're not even seeing it. There's somebody that is very interested in you. And you don't even have the time to recognize it because you're so busy doing everything or you don't have time to date or to see others. Now, if you're in a relationship, this also could be a call to give more time to your significant other, like you've just been really swamped with work and you need to rest and give more time to your significant other. That's why family was coming through so strongly earlier. Now, we also have for you, it's time to take action with the Aries new moon, which is coming up actually uh, next weekend. I want to say Sunday, the 11th of April. Uh, we'll have a special event going on that night as well. Uh, you'll know more about it in the coming days when I post about it on the community tab. Um, I'll probably also make a video on it here when the time comes, but I'll be doing free readings on the new moon to anybody who attends the event. It's free to you. You won't have to pay anything for it. Uh, I'm only bringing it up because it came up. It'll be live on my Twitch channel. So if you're not following me on Twitch, make sure that you do, uh, but more information on that soon, but it's time to take action with this Aries new moon. Um, you know, set some new intentions. Maybe that's the day that you need to take off. If you normally work Sundays, take Sunday the 11th off if you're able to and really carve out some time for yourself, you know, um, have, um, have an at-home date with someone, with your significant other. And if you're single and there's somebody that is interested, you know, have a virtual date with someone. Do something with someone else that, um, it could also be a friend date too, if you're just really not, you know, interested in anybody right now and nobody is interested in you at this very moment or you haven't noticed. 
But, you know, it's time to really give more to yourself. Now, with it's time to take action, I feel like many of you maybe have felt really unmotivated in life right now. And Spirit is also confirming that with this Aries new moon, this is going to be a pivotal time for you in the coming weeks where your motivation is going to come back. But you need to take time out right now to rest. And we also have be bold and make the first move. So really, those of you that there is somebody in your workplace that you really like, uh, it's time for you to take an action on that spirit really wants you to make a connection with this person. This is so funny because I talk about this all the time. I don't really do romance readings on my channel, but this one is definitely very romantically inclined. Um, this could also be about trying something new with your significant other if you already are linked with someone. Um, but definitely, this is, I feel like this is going to be a really passionate time for you. There's something about relationships and career going on. And we also have for you talent. And we have for you peace. So with talent, I feel like spirit is really saying that you are very talented. You're very multifaceted. You have so much going for you in the workplace. Your workplace would like fall apart without you. You are somebody that is very important. And if you're not in a career and you're looking for a career right now, you are also someone that you have a lot to offer. There, You might feel like, oh, I don't have any skills. Like my resume has nothing on it. Da, 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 da. But no, you actually have a lot to offer a workplace. And Spirit is saying to A, have peace in knowing that, that you have a lot to offer. But also like know that if the time should come in a, in a career way, like your talents can sustain you. You are given these talents as a gift, if, especially if you are entrepreneurial or maybe you run a business with your significant other, your talents really are helping this to progress. You are a talented individual. And some of you, I think, just needed to hear that message. Like you feel like there are so many like people out there doing what you're doing or competing for a certain kind of attention. And Spirit wants you to know that you have the talent to carry it through. And those of you that are in business with your significant other, this is also a call to like not work for an evening and do something together. Maybe you have been building really hard with your significant other and it's time to relax. Some of you also might um, be starting businesses with a significant other. And it's really important that you balance the time between dating that significant other and making time for business, you know, doing both, having a good balance and equal exchange of what's going on. And with peace, Spirit is saying, you need to rest. <laughs> I know that a lot of times we think that the world is going to fall apart if we rest. And Spirit is saying, if you don't rest, like oftentimes we will be made to rest. We will have to take a break at some point because our body will give out. Something will happen that makes us have to rest. And Spirit is saying, Take peace in knowing that you deserve a day off. You're allowed to take a day off. It's not going to make everything around you fall apart. It's going to be okay. You are allowed to take time for yourself. You are allowed to take time off to rejuvenate yourself. And I also want to point out with this four of spades, which does act as the uh, four of swords in traditional Rider Way Smith uh, Coleman tarot, but it also acts as the death card. So this is also a big transformation for you. I feel like there's maybe a relationship trying to come into your life pile number three that is going to transform your career. And I don't mean like, <laughs> I don't mean like you're going to sleep with your boss and then they're going to give you a promotion. I don't mean it like that. I just mean that this could be something really transformational that, like I said, maybe you're going to start a business with them. This could also be a business partner. Um, this could also be that like they make the workplace more fun where maybe it's been really dull and really grueling for you. Um, I feel like there is a transformation in your career coming and there is a partnership coming with it. If you're already partnered, like I said, this is also a message to spend more time with your partner. Maybe they've been asking for it. But um, this is also that like this partnership will be very transformational for you. Now we're going to go ahead and get three cards from this deck to see what is coming for your career in the future. 
Um, also, I want to point out that for some of you with this angel and this Don Juan card, for some of you um, with the angel, you might be a divine messenger. You might be somebody that wants to get into, you know, tarot card reading. You're somebody that wants to get into divination, to being a channeler for archangels. And this is saying, Spirit is saying, like, if you feel called to that divine pursuit, go after it. And with Don Juan, this to me is about partnerships with someone else in a career. But it can also be like, maybe some of you are meant to open an OnlyFans, okay? Um, you're meant to go into the business of seduction uh, in that way, you know, don't, don't, um, obviously that's not going to be for everyone, but for some of you, if that's something you have felt a call to spirit is confirming, like go, go for it. All right. We're just going to go ahead and get three cards. Spirit, give us three cards, three cards. All right. So let's see. We have temperance. We have the seven of wands and we have the nine of cups. Okay. So pile number three, if this reading resonated with you or only some parts of it did definitely go back and listen to, I want to say it's pile number two that had the equivalent to the nine of cups. They might be linked. So check out that one too. But with temperance, spirit is saying have patience. Action is coming with this Aries new moon, but also try your best to remain grounded and have patience at this time with your career. The seven of wands says that you may ruffle some feathers with taking a break, but you need to prioritize yourself because the seven of wands is about going to bat for yourself. And spirit wants you to know that this is really important for what you're dealing with right now. And with the nine of cups, this is a wish granted, baby. This is something you've been asking for in the career, whether it's money, whether it's a promotion, something that you have set intention for, for your career is coming. And that wish is going to be granted to you. So that is what I have for you, pile number three. I hope this reading resonated with you. Please do not forget to follow me on TikTok, on Instagram. I'm at Chloe Taylor. I'm planning to try putting out some horoscopes over the Aries new moon on Instagram. So definitely make sure you're following so you can see those when they go live for your zodiac sign. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh my gosh, my brain. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to check out the podcast link down below available on every platform, every major platform. Uh, the cards are all listed down below if you're interested in any of these decks in the order that they appear. And if you feel called to do so, uh, it's never an expectation, but always appreciated. I have my cash app Venmo and PayPal listed down below. I do accept tips for my readings. Again, it's never an expectation. And my beautiful pumpkins, please do not forget when you stand up in your own authenticity, you empower everyone around you to do the same. I love you and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.